to him. Mr Potato! Do you like Mr Potato? Pepper does. <laughs> What's the matter, George? Why are you crying? Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. What's that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur? Don't worry. I'm sure it hasn't gone far. Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it! We're good at finding things. Let's go this way. I can see it. It's stuck in that tree next to the muddy puddle. Let's see if we can get it down. It seems that Mr. Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. In the tree? <laughs> How did it ever get there? Let's take a look. Hmm. Perhaps instead of trying to reach it, it will be easier to make him come down to us. And how are we going to do that, Daddy? Don't so. Well, I'm a bit of an expert in these things. <laughs> as simple as that. It worked! Thank you, Daddy. I didn't know dinosaurs could climb trees. Dinosaur! <laughs> Good job. George got Mr. Dinosaur back and everyone is having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Back home. Daddy, Daddy! We're having lots of fun. That's great, Pepper. Mummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Peppa, why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! We will find the glasses! <laughs> That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. Let's 
play with this. house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Arrived. But, Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach, so instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Really? What kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates! Let's see what's in the rock pools. I found a crab in the rock pool! Crabs love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh, no. Don't be a naughty crab. <gasps> a seashell! And it's a really big one. Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? Whoa. Congratulations. You have found all the things in the rock pools and have learned a lot about rocky beaches. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here.
The playgroup. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello everyone. This is my new friend. Hello. Ah, Peppa. I see you and your friend are already here. Ah, Peppa. I see you and your friend are already here. Getting down. Dr. Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. Something. Hang on, Tiddles! We're going to get you down in no time! Oh, impossible! It's too high for me! Peppa, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Peppa find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. was talking about. You found it. Good job. Oh, here you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? There you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again? Oh, Tiddles. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Now, Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. <laughs>
Peppa's house. Back home. Peppa, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful. I see. Well, so are you, Peppa. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come. Daddy Pig, didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes, well... I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City. Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes. Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! Have you come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day? Um, yes? Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun! Remember to visit the whole park! There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see! All right then, run along children, have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Reggie, here we go! Definitely skip the second round. Let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a tomato now. Wow, a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, you're a carrot. <laughs> Well, Peppa, your friend has been with us for quite some time now. Yes, quite some time indeed. 
And you've been to so many places together. You've been to our house. <sighs> and you've been to our house. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Of course. We even went to the beach together. We found many things in the rock pools. Rock pools! Rock pools! And to the forest. You helped poor Tiddles the tortoise in the playground. Hooray! And we went all the way up Snowy Mountain. I took you there. And to the museum. Did you enjoy our trip to the moon? I always do. I've been seeing you running around the town for some time now. It's always nice to see new faces. <laughs> we got a good view of the whole town from Windy Castle, too. What a lovely view it was. And I'm happy to have met you now that you've come here to Potato City. Well, I've had a lot of fun, thanks to you. You're my friend forever. Friend forever. Friend forever. Still is born. 